Um, so my thesis, which I wrote for an undergraduate degree, uh, was about the Saramaka Wars in the 1750s in Suriname. Uh, in particular, I was really interested in seeing how um, the colonists, the colonizers who um, controlled the plantations, were completely absorbed in fear um, and the sort of obsession with uh, the Saramaka people because the Saramaka had um, the power and I wanted to show that um, the resistance to uh, colonialism was very strong in Suriname. In particular, because I come from the United States, um, the story of Suriname is not known uh, to many people in, in the United States and I think it's a very important history starting with the Treaty of Breda in 1667 uh, we all know that um, there was this exchange for Manhattan and Suriname, and so Suriname is very important to the United States. And then later, it was Surinamese sugar, Surinamese coffee that was brought to the United States, and yet that history is not known in America. And because I have Surinamese roots through my family, I wanted to bring that history to other Americans. And in particular, I think the most important part of that history is the history of resistance to slavery, um, which uh, the Saramaka people uh, are so emblematic of. Uh, so in my thesis, what I looked at was um, these wars uh, leading up to the, the Treaty of 1762, um, where uh, the Saramaka people had won a victory that is really unparalleled in the resistance against slavery, uh, in that the colonizers acknowledged uh, that the Saramaka were basically an independent people. Um, and I think that that is an achievement in the resistance to oppression uh, that needs to be uh, sort of sung loudly uh, across the world, um, and too many people do not know the story of the Saramaka people and the Maroon people more generally in Suriname. So that was what I wanted to share with my thesis. Hmm? Samaka uh, are a uh, people, a Maroon tribe, uh, that live in the upper reaches of the Suriname River in, in, uh, in Suriname. Uh, from the first days that enslaved people were brought to Suriname, uh, enslaved people won their freedom and escaped into the bush. Uh, and the Samaka are one of the six tribes in Suriname, uh, the Maroon tribes, uh, that function as often somewhat autonomous uh, groups in the bush. Uh, and it's a uh, rich culture with a fascinating language um, that is studied the world over. Uh, I think in America, when people hear Samaka, they think about the language, uh, if they know about the language, um, because it's such an interesting Creole language. Um, but otherwise, it's a history that many people don't know. I mean, I think help is good if the people have a say in how that money is spent, because uh, for too long, these colonizers in other countries think they know what's best, even after slavery, even after colonialism. So I think it is important that if a fund is made, that it is uh, Maroon people, it is formerly enslaved people, it is people of Suriname who get to say how that money is spent for their use. Um, more generally, I think it is um, important for every, everyone who profited off the slave trade to acknowledge their role. Um, slavery was not just about slave masters and overseers on the plantation. Slavery was about banks in Amsterdam. It was uh, it was the streets of Boston and Massachusetts, all of these places where we don't traditionally think slavery was happening, people were profiting from the trade. So I think it's important to understand the international reaches of the slave trade and, uh, and the, uh, the way that people continue to profit from it.